Hi guys, welcome back to Cricut Monday. What we're going to do today is I found two pieces of decor at Walmart in their craft section and I want to remake it into a French country farmhouse sign. And I found some um, botanicals, vintage botanicals online for free and I'll link them in the description box. Okay, now if you don't have a Cricut, I will see you tomorrow Tuesday for a DIY. So I already have design space loaded here on my computer. I'm going to go to the circle with the plus for a new project, replace what I was working on. Now I'm going to go here to images because I've already uploaded mine. I'm going to click on images. Then I'm going to go to ownership over here on the left and the, I'm going to check upload it, okay? And these are the ones that I found. I really think they're cute. We're going to do a print then cut. So I'm going to do this one. I'll click on it. It'll put a green box and I'm going to do this one. Okay, then we're going to go to the right bottom corner, insert images, and that will put them on our canvas. Now they're going to come in really large and I don't know what this is about. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to go up from size and I'm going to put, for the width you can make it 6.75 for a print then cut, but I want mine to be 5.5 in the width and I want my height to be 9.25 and then I'm going to lock it back. I'm going to do the same thing with this one, backspace and put 5.5 for the width and 9.25 for the height, okay? So adorable, all right? Now, if you don't uh, have a Cricut, uh, you could always just print these out and put them in a really pretty um, picture frame. It'd be gorgeous. Okay, now we're going to go to text right here on the left. Click on that. Go up here to font. And then we're going to go to the system, which is what's on my computer. I could do Cricut as well, or all. And I'm going to type in the skinny and let it search for it. Here it is. To me, it's a lot like Radon. And I got this font for free on defont.com, okay? So I'm just going to type in French for botanicals, B-O-N-T-A-N-I-Q-U-E, okay? And we're going to move this right down here. Now I want this to be one inches tall, so let me zoom in. We're going to go right up here to the lock. I want it to be four inches wide, 4.0 for the width. And then I want an inch tall, okay? So I'm going to lock that, all right? Then I'm going to look at it. Do I think I need to move my letters in any at all? I'm pretty happy with that. You can go up here and ungroup them and move them around and then group them if you want, okay? So now, if you were going to do two of these, you would just click. make sure you've clicked on that and you would hit duplicate and that would give you your second one okay so i'm going to turn the eye off of this i'm just going to delete that one because i like i said i've already made it all right so now we're going to go to make it right top corner and we're going to be using printable vinyl today you won't you don't want to mirror this we're going to go to continue right bottom corner then we're going to send to the printer, okay? I'm going to leave my bleed on, and I'm going to hit print. Okay, now I have printable vinyl, so I'm going to click on that, and we'll just print the next one out right after we cut this one. Okay, I've printed this one out. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. Then I'll switch to my computer, I mean, I'll switch to my camera and we'll cut this one out and then our words. Okay, here's my other image printed out. I think this is so beautiful. It has the flowers as well as the fruit right there, okay? So these are, I have two of these that I picked up at Walmart. 
This is a galvanized metal right here that's white. I loved it when I saw it. It just looks so farmhouse, French country. And this is what it looks like when you look at it. It's Hampton Art framed enamel, okay? And you can do so much with that. Now these were kind of pricey. They were 14 something a piece, but I knew that I wanted them, so I got them. And I could make something really pretty. Now this is the printable vinyl that we're using. Um, and when you load it, here's one I've already done and I'm keeping the scraps. But see how this side, I hope you can see, is real shiny and this one is not as shiny. So in my computer, I have to load the shiny side up for it to print on the correct side. Otherwise, it's just going to smear. And, and here is my removable Cricut vinyl that I'm going to be using in this really pretty cream collar. I thought it would pick up nicely with all of this, okay? So we're going to cut this one out. I've already cut and applied the other one. So I'm just going to put this right in here. Insert it with the blinking arrow. Then cut with the blinking C. And what this is going to do, it's just going to cut out this little frame around it. And I thought that would be really cute. It would add interest. But like I said, if you don't have a Cricut, you can print these out, um, just the eight and a half by 11 and put them in a frame and it would be beautiful in a gallery wall, which is what this lady did, or just in different areas of your house. Okay, I'm going to eject it. Now this is going to peel off like a sticker. When I did my planners, um, that's how I did them. All right, so I'm going to stand up. It just peels off like a sticker. You have to be careful though. When this goes down, it really wants to stay. So I have my other one down roughly about an inch. Well, a little over an inch. My craft room is a total disaster. And I'm using these side little guides and before I applied this you have to clean your surface with rubbing alcohol but that is what we're getting so far is that not beautiful okay now I want to print out our words so I'm going to get my removable vinyl put it right on here you wouldn't have to do this. Insert it and cut it. But I thought it doesn't go all the way down, but I love it. And I thought it would be pretty to put botanicals in French right there. But look how French country farmhouse this is looking. I love it. You could use black vinyl if you wanted. I just wanted to pick up on the muted cream. And you will need some transfer tape and you can reuse it. You could use any font that you wanted to. I just wanted to keep up with something that kind of looked Ray Dunn a little bit. Okay, then what I'm going to do flip this over, peel it off like this. It really does help it from crinkling as much. Take my scissors, cut this down so I can save that. And then I'm going to be using, I really do love this Dollar Tree weeder. I think it works very nicely. Pull this. 
right like that. And then all we have to do is just weed out the center. If you have some tape or something sticky, I found if I use the back of this vinyl, uh, what I'm weeding will stick to that and it's not all over me. So that's a good little hack that I found out just by trial and error. <laughs> you may already know that. Okay, then I'll get my transfer paper, apply it to my transfer, and then we will apply it to I this. I had to redo the wording because in my mind, I added an extra letter to the French way of saying botanicals, the spelling. So I wanted you to know that I didn't think that that was how you spelled it. It's just sometimes since I've been sick, I do things backwards and it's, it's very frustrating. I don't have dyslexia, never have, but sometimes it just happens. Or I'll add an extra word. It's, I'm totally a mess. Okay, now I'm just going to eyeball it. You could measure it if you wanted. Okay, let's take a look at it. Okay, here is the first one. It may be hard to see the, the French for botanical down there. Like I said, you could do it in black if you wanted, but I wanted it to be very subtle. It's very pretty when you're in person. So here is this one. So easy to do, okay? These would make great gifts as well. And then here is this one. I think I'm going to put these in my bathroom. I'm not sure. So let me go see where I think I may want these. But I think they're going to be beautiful together. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So like I said, I will see you tomorrow for a DIY. Pretty sure we're going to have our molds and stamps back out. So let's go see how this looks. Okay, here they are in my guest bathroom. Now I will put something above where those hooks are. I don't know, maybe some greenery or something like that. But here is the first one. No, the second one that we did together. Sorry about the shadow. The lighting isn't as good in here. That may have helped a little bit. But I think that is just so pretty. I love all those textures and colors together. Then that is the French word for botanicals. Like I said, you could do that in any color. I just wanted it really soft and muted. And here is the first one that I did. Off camera, I did it exactly the same way. And it has botanicals right there. Botanique, I think that's how they say it. So, this is a really easy little DIY to do, and it's a lot of fun. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Until next time, bye guys.